Previously, housemates were sinful. Don't trust her. Oh, I can't stand her. Why does Clint hate me so much? Horny, like, all the time. Oh, have mercy! <laughs> Shut up! Don't even go in! Just a nasty man. Ah! When did I say you're an asshole? Whatever, I don't really care. She doesn't even fancy me, she fancies Connor. If there's a hell, this is what hell must be like. You guys are cheating. No, I'm not cheating. Cheater, cheater. Ah! Selfish little bitch. Only God can help us now. Tonight, it's time to confess. Forgive me, big brother. Because I have sinned. I have lusted over Lauren, Sarah, and a little bit of Dina. I've become a very angry person. I had nuts behind my bed. That I should be happy that I've got Lucas. And, but I'm not. It was just the devil. But can we really have a happy house? You smell quite nice. Thank you. You have a beautiful yeah. smile. Oh. You are loyal and thoughtful. You're so well attractive. <laughs> you are gorgeous. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> I just hope that you do think of me as a friend. Dear 55, 10, 15 a.m. In yesterday's task, the last housemate standing would win a star prize. And some of them were outstanding for over 12 hours. This is Big Brother. Adam, you have outlasted all housemates and have therefore won the task. Sweet. Confirmed. A 50 inch LED TV. Luke S is talking to Connor about yesterday's task. I only want to stay on to try and beat Luke out because he just kept saying he's going to stay on, he's going to stay on. Yeah. And then I got to three where that was hurting stuff and I was like looking at the stuff and I was like, them prizes, realistically, I could buy. If I really, really wanted them, I could buy them. <laughs> That's what I thought, right? too. That's what I thought to myself. And then I was like, we've got no food, and there's food in there. I need to eat. And Adam just kept saying, I really want the TV and stuff. And Dean was like, I can't be able to get off. I was like, guys, listen, Luke's probably going to stay on for ages. Dean, you can't be able to get off. Adam, you really want the TV. Realistically, like, I'm not staying on for the prizes. Like, I'm hungry. It's three o'clock. Just got off. You just jumped off? I just jumped off. I came in here and then Luke fell off. And I, got out. I was like, what happened? He was like, I fell off. I was like, how did you fall off? He was like, just fell off. I was like, no, you didn't. Dick. So part of me thinks, like, I should have stayed on. Yeah. I just sitting there going, is this, is this worth standing here for a TV? I still don't like him, both. Yeah. Adam and Dina are in the bedroom. No matter when we leave, I'm going to miss you. Aww, oh, I miss you too. Not only because I don't have any friends in the house in the room, I miss you. That's the only reason? Probably, yeah. What do you mean that's the only reason? Oh. I <laughs> don't, um, don't know about him. Luke A is pleased he came third in yesterday's task. It was, uh, it was nice to test your endurance. It was uh, interesting. It's more my stubbornness <laughs> than my endurance. Because I could have gone on longer. What were you being stubborn about? I didn't want Lucas to beat me. <laughs> He's telling everybody that he stepped off for Adam um, so he could have the TV when we all know that that's not the truth. He's just trying to sort of make himself look good as usual. And he knew that I wasn't going to move. And while he was there, I wouldn't have moved. I felt like I needed to beat him because everyone just expects him to win all the time. And I thought, no, I'm not going to let him win. I just feel like it was a little personal victory. God, that sounds so awful. But a lot of this time in this house, he's made me feel like this small and it was just great to sort of get a bit of control back, you know? It was like, I was remembering the task where we were chained together and we were running opposite ways and I felt first so frustrated that he beat me on strength and I, for this, I just wanted to beat him on this. 
Who do you think could still be on now? No. You're proud of me. Mm. Yeah, I'm very well liked. I've not let you down for jumping off. No. Shut up. What, so he tripped? <laughs> no, he didn't trip. He says he, says he did. Yes, he There's no way he did. There's only one person that fell off, and that was Becky. I am one clumsy bastard. Huh? No, Luke wouldn't have fallen off. No. You're too focused. I want focused. Yeah, I know. Cook of shit. I'm it so glad I fell off. Yeah. Good. They came out here and he was lying flat on his stomach. Do you know why I probably think the only reason why they probably stayed on because of you? Yeah, I know. And that's what, that's what I knew. What? That they were only staying on because of me. Eleven thirty a.m. Food is in short supply, but Scott's making the most of the lemon juice. Adam, Luke A and Luke S are having 40 winks. But Big Brother's having none of it. Sunday, day of rest. Mm, not in the Big Brother house. Dina has come to the diary room with someone on her mind. Hello, Dina. Hi. I was just thinking something about Adam. I'm just not sure whether to ask him about it or not. Because I'm feeling a little bit like our friendship is just a one-way thing. But at the beginning of this show, I always felt like I was a bit by myself and a bit of a loner because I do think a lot of, like, people treated me a bit bad. So I kind of stayed by myself and didn't ask anyone to stick up, stick up for me. And then... After I got saved the second time, I got closer with Luke and Adam because, like, they treat me equally and I feel like I can be myself with them. But then, like, a few things have happened lately with Adam and I'm not sure if he does think of me as a friend. Because yesterday in the box things, like, I stood there for 13 hours. But I thought but he, he was saying how much he wanted the TV. So I felt a bit sorry for him, so I stepped down. But at the moment with Adam, I just feel like it's a bit of a one-way friendship. Coming up, confession time. I have lasted over housemates. The biggest pile of food under my bed you've ever seen, and they're all hidden there, just for me. Have you ever had any lustful thoughts about other housemates? You get aroused in your dream. <laughs> 2 or 2 p.m. Ashley and Scott oh are in the oh bathroom. God. Mm, years and years ago. Years and years ago? Yeah. How do know? I don't really want to know, though, like, so... <laughs> mm. I hope men that do that. I think everyone has at some point. Mm. As Luke. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. It'd be a bit weird if you did. I don't think he'll admit to it. <laughs> Adam, Dina and Luke here are in the living area. Do you think of me as your friend? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Why, what would make you think different? No, I think just a few little things. Like, I might just be over-paranoid again. Mm. But it's better if I ask you, then you can tell me, like, your point of view on it. Um, when, like, we were doing the task, and I had to cheat. Like, I thought, like, if I saw you 
doing that. I was just said, oh, Adam, like, what are you doing, you silly? Like, I wouldn't have really got angry with you because you're my friends. So I thought, okay, maybe you just want to win, so just, like, let you win. Mm -hmm. Just like, I'm just like a few like, little things they've like, said. I just think, like, I hope that you really are my friend. Mm -hmm. You mean that there's been a lot of trust issues with you? Mm. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that. I just hope that. Like, you are my friend, yeah, and like, I don't want to like come out of the house, and I hope you've not been thinking anything else, and I just like look like an idiot. No, I've no, you know, I'm loyal to you guys. Yeah, yeah. there's always been like questions of distrust, distrust at, yeah. at times like that, and those yeah. have always been shown when it's happened, you know. Yeah, and I hope you trust me now as well. Yeah. I'm silly sometimes, but but friendship doesn't mean a lot to me because like that like you can't buy friendship. Right. You can only make things. So I hope even yesterday showing you like like obviously we're like a, like the prize, but I think friendship means more to me than money or prizes or anything like that. Because no, you absolutely. can't buy friendship. No, absolutely. It's like joking around the bedroom. Like I've always said, since mm. that you're gonna come kick it and hang out with me in Dudley. Yeah. You know? Hopefully. Yeah. I really yeah. don't have any other friends. Yeah, of course. So. Three seventeen PM. Today, each housemate will be called to Big Brother's confession box, where they must confess the sins they've committed in the house. Housemates have been told they'll be summoned in turn. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would Adam come to the confession box? Yes. Hello, Adam. Hello. Give me Big Brother, for I have sinned. I have lusted over housemates. Which housemates have you lusted over? <laughs> Lauren. Really? Yes. Maybe talking about women a little bit, you know, a little bit more sexually than I should have. I understand that, you know, I should keep the lust in and all that shit to myself a little bit, but, you know, sometimes it takes over and I just, you know, got to vent, got to talk about the... But you understand. I'm sure you do. Yes, Adam. Yeah. Could you name the female housemates that you lusted over? <laughs> I would have to say Lauren, Sarah, and a little bit of Dina. Do you feel better now that you've confessed your sins? <sighs> I do. I do. Connor is next to confess. I think I've, my overall sins have been very um, anger-related, to be honest. Some issues with Dina have, have become very hot-headed, um, and I've become a very angry person. But I have looked past that and I've, I think I'm a reformed character. But obviously there's some issues where I have been, I felt um, very ashamed of myself in this house. And Connor, you mentioned that there are things you've done that made you feel ashamed. What are those things? Um, shaving my pubic region into a shape of a moustache. I'm not too keen on how it would go down well with uh, my father and his friends at the pub, but then again, it's um, it's something that he's got to come to terms with, you know what I mean? I have spoken about nominations a number of times and broke the rules. Do you regret doing this? I do. Dina, do you feel guilty about anything else that you've done in the house? Sometimes when I look back on situations, I feel like maybe I could have stood up for myself a bit more. When I had an argument with Siobhan because I nominated her, thinking back now, I shouldn't have felt bad about, having, about, about doing that because everyone has to do that at the end of the day. At the beginning of the experience, I let quite a lot of people treat me badly and I didn't speak up, I just chose to ignore it. quite embarrassed that I got made to look at like a total lemon by Barbell Media. <laughs> are you coming out of here thinking The Bachelor, Hollywood Nights, Single Life, or are you coming out thinking Katie and Peter, Celebrity Wedding? 
I just threw the back to That was so embarrassing. Is there anything else you regret about your time with Barbell Media? Yeah, probably saying it would have been fun to take the Mark Wright LA Knight route rather than a Peter and Katie route with Ashley. I regret being gullible in that instance. Have you committed any sins of the flesh? Well, I got my big bollock out on national TV. It's not the most flattering things. Well, I sleep naked, so no. I haven't done anything physically. And is your conscience really completely clear when you tell Big Brother that? Yeah, because we haven't done anything bad. Forgive me, Big Bros, because I have sinned. I hide nuts behind my bed. And I also hid hot dogs under my bed. And then I also hid chicken noodles under my bed. There's the biggest pile of food under my bed you've ever seen in your whole life. And they're all hidden there, just for me. What do you plan to do with it? Eat it when no one's looking. Like, yesterday when I fell off my box, I ran into the bedroom and got the hot dogs and ate them all. And I really confess about that. Because we've not much food. So that's really rude of me. And uh, to eat all them when other people are starving in the house. And how do you think the other housemates would feel if they found out about your secret pile of food? Oh, well, they'll probably think I'm selfish. Oh, God, you're making me feel like I should go and give them it. Oh, I'm not. They're mine. Like, oh, fuck. Four or one p.m. Scott is quizzing Sarah on her modelling success. So, who came in the top in Miss Britain? Um, me. What number were you? I came fourth. Okay. I can't believe that. <laughs> I've been doing that dance, that dance with Miss Number Four, Great Britain. What? <laughs> with Miss Number Four, Great Britain. I oh, can't gosh. believe I've been doing that. Was, that was too I nice. never thought I'd be dancing with Miss Number Four, Great Britain. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> that doing that dance. Still in a repentant mood, Luke S is keen to get something off his chest. <laughs> and they said, have you done anything of the physical kind? I was like, well, no, I sleep naked, though, so, you know, but we haven't done anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm embarrassed about the barbell media thing. I said, oh. although it was funny, like, it was a bit embarrassing, because he asked me a question at the end, and I'm like, oh, would you do, would you like to do the... Katie and Peter route with Ashley. Oh, fuck or would, yeah. you, would you like to do the Mark Wright Hollywood night, oh. the night thing? And I went, oh, I'd love to do Mark Wright Hollywood night thing. <laughs> like, right. And then, because I felt stupid after that because I didn't know how it'd be perceived on the outside. So like, I went into the diary room that, like, that night and I was like, oh, everyone's going to think I'm a dick because I've said the Mark Wright night thing. Like, what I meant to be with Ashley and it's like Katie and Peter. What? I just said it because it was like, Spur of the moment, I wasn't thinking. Oh, like, I thought you said that's what he asked you in there. No, I was like, why do you regret it? And I was like, well, if you think about the way my and Ashley's relationship's going, I wouldn't mind the Katie and Peter room, but I just mm. said that as a bit of a laugh. <laughs> oh, God. No, but I got asked the question, so I had to answer it, didn't I? Mm. Hmm. 4.42pm. Four housemates still need to confess their big brother sins. <gasps> this is Big Brother. Would Luke A come to the confession yeah. box? Forgive me, Big Brother, for I have sinned. I may have, on occasion, enjoyed my own company a little bit too much in the evenings. It's been a long while and I just needed to get it out of my system. I've envied Lucas, Benedict and Aaron's physical condition. I would love to have their bodies and having Adam's penis wouldn't go amiss. Forgive me, big brother, have I, because I have, is it for I have sinned, um, I have been very brutal with my words. Like, I'm not a bitchy person at all, like, but like little things just irritate me, and I don't mean it to irritate me, it just does. Yeah. Who would you say you have been brutal with? Oh, just like 
Lucas, Matt and Lauren, and Dina. And do you feel guilty about this? Yes, I do. I'm being horrible to him for no reason. Like, I should be happy that I've got Lucas, and, but I'm not. I called him Onion Boy, that was really awful as well. Like, I shouldn't have said that, like, because he doesn't smell like onions. I should be thankful that I've met someone in this house as nice as Lucas. I'm thankful for the things that he does for me. And he just makes, it makes like, this process of Big Brother, he makes me happy because he's here. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to confess? Like, maybe, like, I've disappointed my family, like, in the ass. Like, if I've done anything like that, I just feel, like, like, really bad. Don't know. Mm. I hope I haven't done anything, like, to, like, just make them feel disappointed in me. Because that's the worst, worst thing. I just didn't want, didn't want that to happen. Just, like, I don't want them to feel, you know, that I've upset anybody. And I'm really, really sorry that I have, if I have, and I will do my best is to never ever do it ever again. One of my confessions is when I said Adam's name on the lie detector test because I think it upset him and that's not nice and I, yeah I think that was really bad of me. You regret saying that he's the person you'd least like to be stuck in a house with? Um, at the time I didn't regret it but I regret it now, and I just, I, I, regret, I, I regret upsetting his feelings. I would never want to ever upset him. And, yeah, I think it was very silly of me. I really, really, really like Adam, but there is stuff that we agree on and we disagree on. So maybe sometimes when I have conversations with him about things, um, maybe I shouldn't be so snappy. Have you ever had any lustful thoughts about other housemates? <laughs> well, you can't help it when you dream, can you? And then you get aroused in your dreams. I never have that usually. But then I had that in here. So that's a little bit lustful, but oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and then mm, you imagine mm, intimate relations in the dreams, and then you just get excited, really, and then whatever. Mm, ph physiological response that aroused feelings may provoke just occurs really. Who are you dreaming about? <laughs> Someone whose mm, name rhymed with puke. Confess. That's just a dream for you. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm not that sure. Oh, never mind. Is this a reoccurring dream no. that you have about Lucas? Okay, no! You just said that name. I never said that name. <laughs> it's not recurring. It's never recurred. Never will recur. It was just the devil. It was the devil. No. <laughs> Coming up, Adam's the love machine. You have a Good. beautiful smile. You smell quite nice. Thank you. Mm. You're so well attractive. You are gorgeous and heartfelt. Oh. And Luke is ruling the kitchen. Okay, hey, what you need to do is peel that into a bowl. Have you done cauliflower before? Hello, I've cut That's this. broccoli for a start. Uh. <laughs> 7.44pm. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates for the result of today's task. Today, housemates had to confess their sins to Big Brother. Big Brother was satisfied with all housemates' confessions. Yay! Yay! Housemates have therefore won the ingredients to a roast dinner with all the trimmings and some lovely puddings to go with it. Yay! Yay! Puddings! Pop, pop. However, oh, oh. as housemates have confessed so many sins to Big Brother, Good show. Big Brother thinks that it would be appropriate for housemates to absolve these sins. What's that mean? To break bread with his fellow housemates oh. and to help two of his housemates in their self-improvement, Luke A must teach and mentor Ashley and Sarah in cooking tonight's slap-up roast dinner for the yes. house. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. It's easy. Roast's easy. Yeah. Never cooked a roast in my life. To demonstrate that the soul is more important than the body, Luke S must forego his vanity and must not go topless until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure he does not give in to the temptation to strip off, he must wear all of his clothes at once. 
They were fit. <laughs> They're all that tight. All, all of his clothes. All of his clothes. All of his clothes. <laughs> all of his clothes. <laughs> Is it not just the clothes you've owned? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> to help improve the emotional well-being of the house, Cigarettes, please. Adam Cigarettes. is the feel-good machine. He must give a hug of at least 30 seconds to every housemate <laughs> and give each of them a genuine, heartfelt compliment. No. <laughs> this must be completed before the meal is cooked. <laughs> I want a drink. All other housemates will be given the opportunity to absolve their sins later this evening. Okay, what you need to do is peel that into a bowl so you're keeping everything tidy. Right, so what are we doing? The cauliflower. Yeah. Have that you that done cauliflower tight. before? Clue has cut That's this. broccoli for a start. Oh. <laughs> cauliflower. Oh, my God. I'm going to get roasted. It's going to be so hot. You want it down there? You have a beautiful smile. Oh, thank you, Roger. You are gorgeous and heartfelt. Oh. <laughs> you bring love, peace, horniness, oh. and well-groomed, and well-educated, and excitement. Oh, that's lovely. Well-meaning and good-hearted person. Yes. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> you are a very full of life and laughter character. Yes. You are loyal and thoughtful. That was a nice hug. Thanks. You're so well attractive. Oh Keep your body fit. And you're funny at times with the winks. You are. You're a mendable, right. inspirational, <laughs> great man. Thank you. You're my best friend. Oh. 9.32 p.m. Luke Ear is revealing some of his trade secrets. If you put your hand in here, yeah. your left hand in there, that's it. If you hold that there, mm -hmm. and then just turn them over gently, then it needs to be gently turned over. That's it. Lovely. And then what we'll do later is just finish them off on a grill so they're nice, go brown up. Oh, OK, yeah. OK, just be careful with that. This one's... You put that in the bowl now, that's fine. Just like a normal cereal bowl. Yeah? Yeah. Scott is telling Big Brother all about his hug from Adam. Oh, my God. I've never felt like someone fancied me more. Oh, my. I felt I've got the biggest admirer in the world. It was... It was like I had some sensual beast ploughing the face into my shoulder. Oh, it was a very intense experience. And then the compliments came flowing and they were lovely. Just marvellous, really. Looking into my eyes like he found the love of his life. So I think he did a marvellous job there. He really did. Don't know whether he meant it. I hope he did. I think he did. Big Brother's glad you enjoyed it. Oh, yes. Well, you know, you should be having one right now. I mean, I'm sure you'd love it. I mean, I'm not exactly... It's not, qu it's not quite my type, but, you know, it's nice to have someone who fancies you. What you need to do first? Oh, God. Is it OK? Let's take the knife down the drumstick. Like that, yeah? So it's just coming out. OK. OK. Oh, God, you're cutting off his leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what you need to do, see the socket here. Oh, God, I don't know if I can do it. OK, all right, I'm just going to try. I'm going to try. Oh, no, no, right. You come on, just give it a go. Ugh. Just give okay. it a go. OK. See, so to take the knife down here. OK. Mm. And then just wait until it pulls out the socket. <laughs> you can do it, Ashley. Uh, I don't know if I can touch it, okay. Oh, there's none. No, no. Wait, am I doing it right? 
<laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's perfect, it's perfect. Peel it back a bit. Ah, the phone! It's fine. You can. Yeah. Just, just go like that, and then that's the... Ah! That's fine, I'll do the rest, that's cool. Okay. okay. Oh. Well done, well done. Well okay. Done. Uh, yeah. Okay. Paying for watching Ashley. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh. Nine fifty-seven p.m. After more than two hours of preparation, the housemates are enjoying their well-earned roast. Hot cabbage is amazing. Mm -hmm. What? The cabbage is amazing. No, what that red stuff? Yeah. Mm. When I get out of here, I might take some elocutional letters. Listen. Oh, you yeah. said what? <laughs> elocutional letters. No, less, is it less elocutional? Elocution. Mm. Yeah, elocution letters, mm. uh, le lessons. Oh my god. And um, and cooking lessons. Hmm. What's elocutional or whatever? Elocutional lessons. So you, you go elocution from speaking lessons. like Ashley to speaking like Scott. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. That might be a chance for me. Mm. No. How many items of clothing you got on? Do you reckon? One, two, two trousers, three shorts, about five jumpers, uh, never mind. one. So dear. Eight t-shirts, three jumpers, three, two hats, and a pair of socks. Did you say in the confession box that you confessed to what? No, this is around. absolutely nothing. No, no, this is absolutely nothing. So they just think it's a sin? <laughs> For the last couple of days, I've wanted to apologise to Luke Hay and to Adam about what I knew and everything like that, but I didn't know how to do it. So I want your big brothers to do a way of, like, oh. doing it. Because I, I don't know how they're going to react, so I wanted them to do a way, as in, I, like, they could, like, I could apologise. So, but I do apologise. It's accepted, and I'm sorry that I flow for handle. Mm. Yeah. I know, don't I could have dealt with it better. At I know. the time, it was like... I know, I know, I apologise, because obviously I, you know, I should have known you know, it was, I didn't. I thought it was going to be a, like a laugh more than like an upsetting thing, but it didn't. It turned upset, and I don't want. I don't want to ever upset anybody in this house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just mm. that's just the way that it is. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. No, I'm sorry. Take thank balls. You. Yeah. Thanks. Hmm. I hope they're everything wrong. Forgive them to get on this lovely little vase. Mm-hmm. Ten twenty-two p.m. It's time for the rest of the housemates to be absolved of their sins. Earlier, housemates confessed their sins to Big Brother. Big Brother would now like to give the remaining housemates the opportunity to absolve their sins. <laughs> Clean them up. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. To ensure that he has time to reflect on his sins and to provide a symbol of penitence to all housemates, Scott must go to the naughty step. <laughs> this is the sixth step on the stairs from the floor in the living area. He must remain there until further notice. What a joke. Oh my God. <laughs> Someone better bring me wine. That's all I can say. I'm going to drink. Oh, it's not like Three, four, five. Sit on that stairs. What's it look like, oh, Scott? This is really privileged. <laughs> you dick. Scott, does it look different up there? No. <laughs> that was a very naughty boy. <laughs> you must have sinned really naughty, I way. know. To aid holistic like well-being, <laughs> Connor must it give a massage right? to any housemates that he feels he yeah. has acted ill against. What? Yes. 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 Also, any housemate who feels he has ever wronged them is free to request a massage. Yes. Oh, Dina, yes. Dina, yes. Dina. Yes. Yes. <laughs> No one's getting their feet foot massage. It's not happening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I've been having a shoulder problem. Yeah, you did. Might as well do the full back. Yeah. In order to focus on improving her own morals and those of her fellow housemates, <laughs> Dina must give a lesson in morality and self-improvement. She'll receive a whiteboard and pen oh, okay. to prepare her speech and will have 30 minutes to prepare and perform it. Uh, she has no idea what that means to be perfect. Just no idea what that means. Fucking Messiah. <laughs> One thing Keely says I'm not going to do. You have no idea what they're doing. To absolve <laughs> Becky's sins and to banish <laughs> misery from the house, <laughs> Becky must bring smiles to all housemates' faces <gasps> by painting happy smiles on their faces. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. I 
I've never done any wrongdoing to any. Have I done wrongdoing to anybody? Any? Yeah, you've done it to me, so I'm gonna get them out in a you've minute. You've done it to Dana. You made me do more push-ups than I did. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so that Fuck's sake. Oh! Don't go that high. You don't need to go that high. Don't go, <laughs> to, my, don't go to my butt cheek. <laughs> don't do it. Here we go. No! I'll do your hamstrings first. Yeah. I'll do your hamstrings first. Mm. You're so rough! <laughs> I'll do your yeah, first. it's fucking good. You like it? You like it? With the elbow. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's grooving in the water. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Get it. His hamstrings are done anyway. Oh, I'm gonna hell, oh my god. Here we go. Ooh, they're nice and tight. Oh. Okay, yes. oh, it's so exciting. Oh. oh my god, it's not supposed to be sexual. Oh. Uh, yeah. Eleven or one p.m. Scott has been on the naughty step for the past forty-two minutes. Please speak, brother. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Housemates have been eagerly anticipating Dina's views on morality. Their wait is over. Oh my God, I'm nervous. This is mind. Big Brother. Dina should now deliver her lesson in morality and self-improvement to the housemates. I don't know what morality means. No, it was just that. <clears throat> have an open. Okay. <laughs> In this day and age, it is very easy to become selfish and materialistic, as a lot of people are. But I believe it is very important to maintain morals such as being loyal, kind, trustworthy and thoughtful to other people's feelings, as this shows strength of character. Having good morals and sticking to them is something to be very proud of. I believe we should always reevaluate ourselves, our actions and how we treat others and look at our behaviour in an unbiased way and think if there is any way you can self-improve to become a better person. Hmm. No one is ever perfect so I believe trying to improve yourself is very important to be the best possible person you can be. I believe you should always treat others the way you would wish to be treated and never judge people if they are different but try to embrace the differences, learn from them and use what you learn to improve yourself. That was very that was good. Was good. Good job. Thank you. Good job. That was very good. Yeah. Oh, thank wow. you. Encore. <laughs> Coming up, Connor gets hands on. Do you want your hand massage? Go on, then. Isn't the hand one of the most sexual parts of the body? <laughs> One sixteen a.m. Earlier, housemates confessed their big brother sins, and they're now performing acts of penance. Scott's been on the naughty step for two hours and fifty-seven minutes. For nearly three hours, Connor's been busy paying for his sins, giving housemates massages. Oh. <laughs> yes, you <Connor. laughs> Oh, God. His girlfriend will be complaining about every other girl, but she won't give a shit about him massaging me. Oh. Right, shut up and relax. Put your hair on the pole. Oh. <laughs> Too stressful for me, this massage. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want your hand massage? Go on then. Chuck, 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 chuck. Isn't the hand one of the most sexual parts of the body? <laughs> it is. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. No. Is it? Wow. Oh, I feel embarrassed. Rele June. Release the tension. It's interesting. No, so it's the left June. hand. She just oh. farted. Oh, I pulled my finger. She farted. She is. She is. <laughs> nice. Don. Thank you. That was nice. You look like you enjoyed it, Dina. Do. No, honestly, I do. It was really nice. <laughs> it's better than a foot massage. Well done, dude. Huh? No, it's nice. <laughs> 
You want to stretch your hamstrings? <laughs> you just want to give me pain. <laughs> Luke, could think about your answer before you say yes. You can take the pain, what, what, can't what, what, you? What? what does it involve? Just oh, God. laying down? It involves no. a lot of... Ah! It just involves laying down. No, I'll be all right, thanks. Yes! Let me do it to you. You did it to me. You did it to me. Come here. Come here. You did it to me. No, okay. okay. This okay. is okay. Can, Big Brother. So, can everyone do that? All high smiths have now absolved their sins. Yay! Yay! Scott okay. may now so leave the naughty step. Thank you. And Luke S is permitted oh. to take off his clothes. Uh, Yay! Let me try and do it, ready? Yeah. Scott, you can get off. I am going to... Massage! <laughs> I've resolved my sins, I don't need it anymore. Aww. <laughs> I'm going to, can I give you one? You'll give me one, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Back to life. Back to reality. Two or five a.m. Scott is in the diary room, sharing his thoughts on the deer. Scott, how does it feel to be off the naughty step? Oh, so much better. I mean, oh, who would want to be sat on a naughty step? I've never been put on a naughty step in my life. How have your other housemates dealt with their absolutions? Mm, they did lots of little massages and I was looking jealous. I wanted the massage, I wanted the cracking of the back, I wanted the... Mm, that's what I wanted. I wanted that badly. People have said things and, and they've all joined together and massaged each other and cracked each other's backs and pulled each other's hamstrings out. So, Scott, do you think today's task has brought the house together? They're all having a right laugh. They're all just skipping around merrily together and happily. Yes, it seems to have done so. That's very nice, OK. Connor, Adam and Luke S are anticipating tomorrow's nominations. It's crazy that I'm still here, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. No matter how much support I have back home, it's not, you know what I mean? But... Here like what I see in the day room, what you gotta do, you gotta, gotta do. do. <laughs> it's the name of the game. Yeah. That's where I love mummy so much. Because <laughs> the tension's high and I love watching sitting back, like I thought it today, sitting back and watching everybody be yeah. everybody's best friend. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. Love it. The, there's so many main people that do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you can, I don't know if you see it yourself, but it, it no. happens all the time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But as well, there's people in here that are floaters. They'll float. Yeah. And they're going to float because they know what day it is tomorrow. And they'll be everybody's best friend. Yeah. And I, I sat there today and just, you just watch it. You watch it all. And tomorrow, you'll, you'll see it tomorrow as well. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck. Next up, it's The Walking Dead. Or, of course, you can turn over to five-star for Big Brother's bit on the side.